Hello to you, wherever you happen to be. Our action comes to you today from Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Aston Villa up against Tottenham Hotspur. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Well, when they don't have possession, it will be a back five. But when they win the ball back, the wing backs will push further forward to make it a 3 5 2. And a strong tackle. Throw ins given. Romero, now Dyer, Harry Kane, Fabier, well, Spurs now in potentially a dangerous position, and return to Kane, accurate pass upon accurate pass, a very timely interception, under real pressure here, Kane, and he's kept to that, stretch somehow reaching it short corner it is and under no real pressure as he brought the ball down and that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick Douglas Luiz John McGinn Spot on with that tackle. And space for them here on the flank. Now he must favour the cross. Fabier. And here's Dombele. Opportunity it is. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. And keeper's ball in the end. Well, look at the relief out there. That looked a certain goal, didn't it? Well, they won't come closer than that, but they are creating chances and surely a goal is coming. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Son. Ndombele. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. Ramsey. Poor pass under no real pressure. And Spurs moving the ball with purpose. Kane! And off the frame again! The clearance wasn't decisive. Kane! And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. Son! Ndombele went in strongly to win the ball Son Harry Kane opportunity to deliver the cross an attack full of promise Lucas prepared to fire not really the ideal clearance and a time for cool heads. Ings. Oh, could be. And a goal! 1 0 it is. They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter attack is so impressive, and his movement so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Now back underway here. How will Spurs reply to that setback?
Emerson. Lucas with it. Well, there it is. Spurs have controlled the possession, but they aren't doing enough with it. They need to pass it quicker, play forward earlier and show more energy. Otherwise, they won't get back into this one. Well, no pressure on the keeper. Poor cross. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Douglas Luiz. And so it is. The first half story has been written. Well, not a game so far, it's... So into the second half here, and the onus is on Spurs to turn this match on its head. Ndombele. Oliver Skip. And he read it well, intercepting it. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Ings. A glorious chance. Not out of the woods yet. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Can he put it away? Brilliant save. Oliver Skip. Emerson. And Spurs moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? And Kane prepared to fire. And the problem not completely solved. Danger averted for now. Ings. McGinn. doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back well let's take another look and it's a very good goal and they deserve it you have to say they've been excellent so 2-0 now well they've given him too much space on Ndombele Oliver Skip the cross is on Ndombele and nothing positive comes of it unfortunately and pulled back Ndombele well well if only he'd been able to stay on side yeah you're absolutely right stay on side and that could have been a really big chance and it's two substitutes on in one fell swoop here for Tottenham. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. McGinn. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Kane. Now Son. They've chosen to go through Harry Kane. Options around him. Showing considerable guile. It's Son's ball into the middle. Now they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Well, on the cusp of the final whistle and the home side really prospering today. Stuart, interested to get your take. Yeah, clearly the better side. Obviously being fantastic up front, but it's their work ethic for me. They're just not happy unless they have the ball. And they're fighting to win it back whenever they do lose it. It's been a really great performance all round. Steven Bergwijn. Skip. Now Harry Kane. Oliver Skip. Son. On the ball, Reguilon. Oh, could be. Brilliantly blocked. Careless in possession. Terrific block. And that'll be the goalkeeper's ball.
Plenty of running room in the wide position. Teammate in support. Nicely blocked. And winning it back. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. And that is that. The final whistle here. And maximum points picked up by Aston Villa. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area. And they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good...